Welcome to the tutorial today for Aspire 3.3. .3. I talked just before about um, the standard advanced interface. Um, so what I want to show you now, so if we create a detector here, have a look at it, we pretty quickly can see um, some properties here like targets. But where do these come from? Well, actually, if we go to tools sensitivity objectives we'll find a set of standard objectives here so if we have a look at say this one here which is a class C uh, you can see it enforces the class C constraints associated with the EN 5420 limit and then it specifies a target balance 65% minimum hole flow rate of 1.8 litre per minute um, a number of other things as well. This is important here. The ratio here is saying the alert uh, basic sensitivity level or threshold will be set at 25% or quarter of the fire one level. Same for an action will be 50 and the fire two will be 200%. So these are the, so um, if I just close that for a moment, close this, when I change these levels here, these the setting those settings have been um, enforced. Now, what you can always do is you can use. Um, well, I'll just show you. At the moment, we're working at EM5420 is our enforced limit, and hence, when we look at settings here, we see the EM5420 settings. And then we see just some generic general ones. So if you look look at the generic ones, you'll see there's no enforced limit like there was for the N5421. Instead, there's a sensitivity target and a transport time target that you can set yourself. So we have these standard um, groups of settings. But what we can always do is to create a new one or we can copy, create a new one by copying one. So we could, say, take a B, class B, um, which is, say, this one here, but we could take a copy of it and let's call it, I don't know, my class B. And... You can see now this is based on class B and um, we might decide here that we want to make our constraint 72%. Not sure why we would, but we could. We've got to change the ratios and um, and we'll say that and now we've got a class B there as well. So if we close that, we go back to our detector um, we've now got my class B and you'll notice now our, our um, target threat uh, balance is 72% what we set there. So basically um, you can set your own settings there. Um, the, the sensitive objectives are available depend obviously on the region you're, or the enforced limit you set for your project. They also depend a little bit on the detector. So if we go to um, something like this detector here, the VLW008, um, <coughs> this one uh, has not been, um, does not have an EN5420, um, is not EN5420 compliant. And so we don't have. Um, and if the EM5420 uh, sensitive objectives are available for this detector, so we drop back to just the generic ones. So, whereas all the other de detectors I think we've got here are, so we go back to VU, and again we've got all our EM5420 um, standards available to us. So just be aware of that, that what is shown here can be constrained by um, the detector as well as um, determined by what your enforced limit is here. 
Um, otherwise, I think that's uh, straightforward. You can create your own um, your, your own set of um, sensitivity objectives. So, if you want to use some specifically for your company or for your as a distributor, you can create your own, um, and they actually um, appear as separate files that you could actually share with with your colleagues and friends as well. So uh, yeah, just just some ways that you can work with this. I just wanted to point out to you. Thank you.